been pretty fired up about it. They've been dreaming of this for a long time. They've been working for this for a long time, and they deserve it. And, you know, we're ready just to get down there and play baseball. The countdown is on. In less than two days, the Bosqueville Bulldogs will make the trip down I-35 to Round Rock for the chance to play in the state tournament. And while the journey to get there has been relatively unpredictable, the destination it has been printed in ink long before the season even began. You don't have to look far to see Bosqueville's goals. Just look at the back of their practice shirts. Two numbers, coordinates of the pitching mound at Dell Diamond and the UIL State Tournament. All year long, we've said at practice, no matter where we're at and what game, we have this many miles to get to Round Rock. From Bosqueville, it's 95 miles. It just reminds us that's been the goal since the start of the year. And, uh, now that that's our goal, we, we are there, but it, we're not done. It's my favorite thing to look at. At practice, when you, see, when you see those coordinates on the back, and you know that that's what we're working for. That's been the goal since day one. That's the only goal we've ever had was to win state, and we're one step closer now. The latest step, a dominant 7-0 shutout of Lindsay in the regional final, complete with a no-hitter from pitcher John Ewens. It's the latest in a long string of blowout wins, the Bulldogs have enjoyed this season. It's a great feeling. Last year we thought we had a really good shot, and this year we knew we, knew we had a really good shot, and we just capitalized, and now we're at the state tournament, and we got to win two more. In Round Rock, things will be a little more difficult. The Bulldogs will play Garrison Wednesday in the state semis, where they'll take on a pair of effective pitchers who will try to slow down their potent offense, which has averaged more than 13 runs a game during the playoffs. Everybody one through nine, is into line drives, ground balls, being on time. I feel like if we carry that over, we'll be really successful this week. And as they move under the bright lights at Dell Diamond, Anderson believes they won't give in to the pressure. They're used to and they understand what's on the line and they'll be ready to roll. After all, the end of the journey has been marked since the beginning. All that's left is to finish strong.